Hey guys, how's it going? Tyler Ansrock50 here, back with some more Bloons Monkey City action. Here we just have a little speed run of me getting to level 8 in about an hour of gameplay, sped up 3 times to 20 minutes. So in the background of that, I'm just going to have some sweet action music, so if you want to sit through that, it'd be great. If not, 20 minutes in, there's a spot with commentary, it's like 20 and a half minutes or so. Forget the exact second amount, but a bit after 20 minutes, a bit before 20 and a half. So you can skip there, and I'll just be doing another level with commentary. Or you could just sit through all of this. I don't know. Your choice. I'm not forcing you to do either one. But uh, enjoy the video. See you uh, with the commentary, guys.
All right, and uh, here we are. Uh, this this is my city. You guys saw the building of that just you know over some time. We really don't have too much here. It's just like a bunch of plains, forests, scary mountains. But yeah, volcanoes. That's pretty sweet. I don't think that was in the previous version of BNC. Then down here we have two shipwrecks of various difficulties. However, in case you didn't notice, something I'm very upset about. I want to build a water mill on a river, but there's no rivers around here. I thought at first this was a river, but no, it's a lake terrain. So screw that. I'm not getting that achievement until like forever. But I will be, you know, making some videos of say uh, shipwrecked. I want to do that eventually, and maybe other special missions I can find around here, if there are any. I don't see any. Oh, well, I have graveyard. Okay. Also. Look at this. Damn you, Bob. <laughs> I suck at battles. Just, d screw you. How dare you attack my city? <laughs> not fun, not fun. He's level 15. It's only rated very hard, so maybe I could do if I get, like, an extra dartling gun. Oh, actually, I think I can. Hold on, let me double check this. Yep, there we go. Get a second dartling gun cache. What else can I buy, then? Let's head to upgrades. Glaive Ricochet. Uh, that, that costs a ton. Gun training hall. Might want this. Um, uh, no, I, I, I guess... I guess that's good, but anyways, I'm gonna choose something. Do I have pineapples? Oh, I do. Sweet. All right. So what I want to go for, I want to go for this one here, this lead one on Lake Terrain, right in front of ship ship directs. We'll see if we can beat it. If you know, and if so, we'd be closer to ship direct. If not, oh well, too bad. So sad. So good news here, we got a dartling gun. We can actually start with that now. We can get up to one one over time. Dartling guns are by far my favorite way to start off out with. Especially since I don't have many other high upgraded things, like Dartling Guns can be my main popping power around here. I have like a mortar thing or whatever. Burning stuff or mortar would be really helpful, especially on this level of like leads coming or whatever. But I'm going to use pineapples for the first couple leads, then eventually get my- Oh, shoot! Uh, I can't even get bomb tower. I can get snurper, that's about it. So snurper and lead and pineapples for lead poppage. That's, that's all I got. So I'm gonna actually going to want to get my snurper up very, very early. Then I could get some, like, boomerangers or something like that for extra pop and power, I don't know, and a spike factory in the back to keep myself safe so I don't have to aim in weird places with my dartling gun. Because my dartling gun's only 0, zero right now. I don't have that much pop and power. I'm going to have to move it constantly. Also, my mouse is kind of catching on the cord for my microphone. Not good. All right, so all these red balloons should be very easy to clean up. And I don't know. I'm not getting as much money as I hoped. I hope I can get this a zero one dartling gun shortly. Shouldn't be too big a deal. But, um, you know what kind of annoys me right now? With the uh, Bloons Monkey City and the open beta and staging site and whatever, um, that zooming out just doesn't work. I usually zoom out while I play Ninja Kiwi games because, you know, it lags a bit, and that helps, you know, get rid of lag. But for some reason, if you zoom out, it just screws up the game. You can never get the game perfect if you're, like, at 75% in your browser. So I have to play this at 100% in my browser, which isn't that fun. I don't like uh, lagging that much. I mean, it happens, oh well. But yeah, I don't like it that much. So let's see, do I even want to get the 1-1 uh, Darton gun? doesn't seem like I need to. I'll just get a couple boomerangers in the back, or at least a spike factory or something. Just something with more popping power. And something I don't have to constantly uh, micro-target. So, yeah, here's all these reds and blues and green stuff. This goes up to leads. What was the highest I saw already? Yellow? I think I saw yells. I don't know. I'm not the greatest at remembering these things. Anyways, boomeranger time. Where do I even want this? I know this is a decent spot for the boomeranger. You just put him on. Oh, chase you down. I wouldn't mind popping all the balloons for this level. And regrow pinks. That's something you don't see every day. Just regrow pinks. Up. Oh, on. Let's uh, focus this down first. Now we can focus on that regrow pink remainder. That was kind of weird. I wanted you on last so I could get you up the. 2-0 or whatever, so you can have your maximum popping power, but for some reason, money's just coming way too slowly. Maybe in just 1-0, I don't think 2-0 will be necessary. I don't think that dense of balloons come. I mean, there's this, but my dart and gun cleans that pretty well. So, I'll leave it at 1-0 for now. Next thing I want to get is the snurper, just in case any surprise leads come, like just and or zebras. The snurpers help a crap ton against zebras, but then again, so do spike factories. I don't know. Just depends on what's cheaper. Well, I mean, Snurper, you can get it a lot quicker. And plus, it can catch leaks pretty easily. I can just target that thing on first, and it'll catch, like, a mysterious red balloon that my Darton can't hit. I, I like towers that have full map range, because they can hit literally everything, and they ensure the noise lost really, really easily. And, you know, I'm trying to save up with the uh, Bloontonium. I guess you guys noticed in the speed uh, part that I used quite a bit of Bloontonium. 
And, you know, it was something I read on the forums that's actually a pretty good idea to do that. And here's why. Um, it's, Blue Antonium is going to be more useful to you in the early stages of Bloons Monkey City than in the later stages. Once you get to later stages, everything costs like 400 Blue Antonium and it's just a massive waste. So I'm just doing it now to get quicker progression. Um, that's basically all I'm really using it for. So, yeah, I still have a bunch of Blue Antonium left over, so I just kind of used it to save myself like 5 minutes, 10 minutes. And it allowed me to get to level 8 in an hour. What I want to know is how quickly can you guys get to level 8? I'm pretty sure most of you could beat my uh, score of like 1 hour and maybe like 4 minutes or so. I don't know exactly how long it took, but I don't know. Ooh, anyways, a bunch of white balloons and that kind of thing. Gotta do a lot of targeting with my darling. I might even lay down and road spike or something. I'm gonna just put that down, just be extra super duper safe right here. And now I'm gonna upgrade my darling to 1 1. If my darling was at 1 1 the entire time, I wouldn't have placed the road spike. But whatever, it saved me a bit of money. This thing costs 250. It doesn't add any popping power. So that's why I save it for a bit later. Or maybe do I want to just skip this and go straight to, I don't know, a spike factory? Because the spike factory would help a ton. That's why I got one. So yeah, I completely forgot the bomb towers were banned on uh, lake tiles. Hopefully it still won't be that hard. I mean, snurpers and pineapples, I have five pineapples. That should be enough, plus pineapples detect camo lead. So, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> living on the edge here, guys, living on the edge. This is how I started off before. I don't need snurpers and pineapples to take care of lead. But yeah, pineapples are very, very useful. They're the cheapest way to get rid of the lead uh, layer. Granted, you do have to time them just right, and you have a limited amount of them. But still, they're useful for, like, if a random ledge comes on round two and you don't want to get a snurper before that. P completely acceptable reason to use pineapples. Completely. Saves you so much money and, you know, uh, micro or whatever. So, anyways, almost can afford the spike factory. It costs so much more in uh, this version of Boom's Monkey City. And also, speaking of cost more, I wonder when the uh, nerfs from... Uh, BTD5 and battles come into Bloom's Monkey City. Because that might change up some things. So a lot of people use Grave Ricochet, that could hurt. And also the Ice Strategy. So many people use that Ice Strategy, which, you know, many have claimed to be OP. And, you know, basically the only reason it has worked is because, you know, a bunch of glitches and that kind of thing. Also, save the leak. But yeah, so that won't work anymore. So that they're going to have to go with more expensive ways to stop infinite balloons practically. So, let's see, I got this, I got this, I'll just place a bunch more boomerangers, I guess? I suppose it's probably a good thing to do, just get a bunch of boomerangers or so. I can just aim into the crowds with the darling gun now. I don't even need to aim at the first balloon, like, aiming at the first balloons now for chumps. Just aim where you'll get the most popping power. So another, um, bleh, whatever this is called, boomeranger. I don't know if I exactly want him on last. I'll put him here so he can catch some balloons as they come around. And I'll get him up to 1-0. One 1-0 zero. One zero should be enough popping power. I haven't seen it, any uh, super dense cluster of balloons yet. So there's no reason for me to upgrade to 2-0 yet. I mean, even that. You know, 1-0 handles it just fine. And I still haven't get, gotten uh, precision, precision targeting or whatever that's called on my darling. Ooh, camel balloons. Luckily, I have the dartling gun. Yeah, so that is also why dart starling dartlings is are right. Uh, is uh, great because you have camo detection whoop 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 and hopefully I should save up more over time I don't know my city is going pretty fast though the only issue with using blue tonium is that the your city's progression is way ahead of the amount of money you have and you're not gonna be able to pay for like a lot more things or you know have a lot of open space because right now my city is jam-packed with stuff I have no open space at all maybe here for a boomeranger I don't know, it's a different position. Lagging a little bit, unfortunately. We are dropping some frames, and again, that's because the thing's at 100% uh, browser uh, zoom out. Whoa, that is a lot of pink balloons here. Alright, let's go, uh, Boomerangers, clean these guys up. I can't wait till the actual game comes out that I won't have to play in 100% uh, browser or zoom, whatever. Because here's the thing, if I zoom out on my browser, like, the bottom of the game gets cut off, then I can just right-click settings right click and show all but that shows a lot more than the game here like it'll it'll actually then cut off the top and bring this up out here and it's just black like ar around the sides i think you guys have seen it in like my first episode of balloons monkey city when you saw me fail at getting the game to work or whatever yeah that that's what happens when i try zooming out so it doesn't work at all unfortunately if you guys somehow have a way around that that'd be great let me know 
but as of now, I don't think there's a way around this. I'm sorry, guys. We're going to have random frame drops. I'm hoping eventually I can just get a better computer. Then I can even then just play at 100% and not have to worry about lag. But sometimes I do like playing it zoomed out because then I can have Skype open at the same time. And I can look at Skype messages or something like that. I don't know. There's ups and downs. So anyways, round 11, we've only seen blacks and whites. No leads yet. That's promising. I'm going to get you up to 2-0 now. You're the one on last, so maybe you deserve to be 2-0. And from here, I'm legitimately getting my darling to 1-1 uh, one, one this time. Finally. I know. I know it's just been so long, but I think I should finally do it. Now I'll get a tax shooter over here for cleanup. And yeah, th this is when the usefulness of the 2-0 comes in. That... That's a decent amount of balloons here. Oh my gosh, a crap ton of black and white balloons here. Hopefully my boomerang should be able to clean up quite nicely. Woo, frame drops as well. Again, I cannot wait until I'm able to play this zoomed out. So, zero, 0 texture, that's all I have. But I'll just put him here. He, he should clean up halfway decently. And what else could I get? It could get dark monkeys. No, I'm just going to upgrade these guys to 2 zero now uh, shortly because the balloons are starting to get more and more dense and of that sort. Here's the thing, I'm pretty sure the Snurper pre prioritizes uh, Zebra Balloons over Lead Balloons, so if Leads and Zebras come at the same time, I'm going to have to focus down those Zebras with like my Dartling and other towers, because otherwise the uh, Snurper won't be able to deal with them, like, at all. So, Camo Whites, woo, that's a lot of Camo right there. Aim my Dartling here, here's a straightaway that my Dartling aims down, plus the Spike Factory can just clean up then pretty nicely. Yeah, that that's good, that's perfectly fine. Excellent. So now that all these are up, what else can I get? Oh, dart monkeys, of course. I can get up to 1 1. I'll start at 0 1. Anyways, round 13. Still no sights of lead, so I'm pretty sure they're going to come on the last round. If not, Ninja Kiwi would be cray cray at lying to us. Or they could just come this round and not next round. But I don't know why they do that. That makes no sense whatsoever. So here we are. Dart monkeys. I'm running out of things to buy, guys. Oh, more camel balloons. Uh, yeah, I just focused on cam balloons like that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And yeah, now that the game is in open beta, so I'm quite looking forward to uh, seeing how many attacks they get. I already got an attack from Bob Guy, who's like level 15. Screw him. I probably will end up defeating it eventually, though. I'll play this game for a bit more, level up, and get more stuffs that I'm able to defeat him with. So it shouldn't be too much problem. But, uh, yeah, go out and have fun. So, round 14, final wave. There has to be leads this round. Please tell me there's going to be more than two leads. Because this has been super duper... <gasps> lead balloons. There they are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, let's just say... Uh, oh, and regrow whites underneath. So, you know what? I'm going to spam my pineapples right now. Because those also have a strong amount of popping power against, like, just, say, random... The regrow whites. So, yeah, I think I dealt with that pretty nicely. Pineapple spam for the win. And that's going to be it right there. So, I'm going to close off the episode with that, like, with this. Probably with the Speed Balloons Monkey City and this. This should take up of an, enough of an episode. So, now I can do a uh, shipwreck whenever I want. Not quite sure when, but, you know, I should probably get some boats, uh, bought. I have three spots where I can. So that's going to be about it. Thanks all you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. More Bloons Monkey City videos coming in the future. And have a great day. Peace.